it was really the requirement of this 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 large door because right, okay. Fentimans, all about the door yeah there. because Fentimans, they were building wooden doors and sometimes metal doors and it's just the, the fact that this had to be a very large door in metal that created really that's where arch phantom had to you know put his mind to to something very special that would would accommodate this requirement so this really goes back to the door uh, right. requirement again that was a challenge but as i mentioned earlier um the the tridic system is very adaptable i mean the very first time was a door but then now we are getting involved with structures in the north for permafrost applications. So that's another. That was my next so, question. So that's the, 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 it seems like we're always finding new opportunities to apply the product in f different aspects that we would never have thought of at first. Right. Yeah. Can you talk a bit about the uh, most recent solutions, uh, sorry, problems and then solutions yeah, the, triadetic, such as permafrost? The permafrost. Yeah, permafrost um, applications actually stemmed from um, there, there was the national yeah National Research Council of Canada were looking into different foundation systems in the north because permafrost is an ever changing soil condition. It could be frozen one year and not so frozen, and now with climate change there is a softening of permafrost which means some of the buildings that were previously sitting on frozen ground are now on soft ground and are cracking so the national research council was doing some research as to what how can we get around this problem and they knew that we were able to build space frames so this is, would be like horizontal st structural systems and they felt that if they could build a building on three points, then you have a stable system because three points is, is the most stable condition you can have. So they, they contacted us to build a flat space frame and put it on three points so it could be built in the north. So we built that and it was was successful it it worked very well but i saw a limitation in that it would probably not we could not make very large structures because if you build very large structures on three points that means you have only three points of support which also means you would have very large forces on the ground in a ground condition that is poor so that intuitively that didn't work as far as I'm concerned so I felt why don't we put that whole slab onto multi points like have every component all the joints are sitting on the ground on plates so it's like a more, more or less like a floating slab sitting on many many points mm. and so that was tested as well and it had, had great results because in that case you wouldn't just have three you'd have many points but to be the, let's say if a space frame had a hundred base plates not all hundred need to sit on the ground you could have some floating as long as you have enough rigidity within the system so that has become now for us in triadetic that's that's become a really interesting application and we have used um, this, this system now in Russia, in Norway, we're in Alaska, we're in Northern Canada. So it has the permafrost, which is now because of global warming is becoming softer. Um, our applications are actually expanding. The use of it is expanding. Right. And you've it makes it a lot easier also to even move or relocate houses right? that's right because you could pull it away you could actually drag it and uh, in Shishmaref, Alaska um, there are several this is a town that's been there for hundreds of years and it's on the coast of the Chechi Sea and the Chechi Sea is eroding the coastline and some of the buildings are actually fell into the into the sea 
So we went in there some years back to take measurements of the existing buildings that are on the edge of this cliff. And we lifted the building, put a triadic underneath, and put our triadic structure on skis, like metal ski, and then waited for winter. And we pulled them with bulldozer, we slid them a kilometer away. And we did, I think, some 28 of these, these uh, homes. And there is another neighboring community that has the same issues. Uh, don't recall the name, but we were now working with that community to move them also away from the shoreline. Right. Mm -hmm.